I take the songs that we at OA we get in probably anywhere from 50 to 100 songs a week. So we sort through those and we narrow those down to what we pitch. All right, let's talk a little bit about your role now as, okay. as a publisher. So and you and you mentioned a little bit, but how how is that different than the A and R guy? Well, I went from saying yes and no to saying please, which is my job now is to work with our great roster of songwriters and get their songs cut. So I'm completely on the opposite side of the desk. So now I'm the one making sure I have four to six songs that I'm not playing crap and that I know what I'm doing and that I've done my homework. Um, so now I'm just a bigger part of the funnel. I mean, I take the songs that we at Olay, we get in probably anywhere from 50 to 100 songs a week. So we sort through those and we narrow those down to what we pitch. And then my job is to narrow that down based on who I'm going to play songs for, whether it's a producer or artist. Um, so it's just a different end of the funnel. I still pick songs that we pitch, and my job is still to go get songs cut and have hits. It's just on the other side of the desk, which is actually, it's pretty fun. I mean, it's competitive, and it's you hear no, you know, 98 times out of 100, but when you get a yes, it's it's pretty awesome and rewarding. And you get used to it, and it's frustrating, just like being an A&R person is frustrating. Just because I love a song doesn't mean somebody else is going to love a song. And there's a bit of sales to being a publisher. Um, but still, I'm actually closer to the creation of the song, which is probably more suited for me. Um, I mean, seeing you guys come in every day at LA, we have probably, what, seven writer's rooms that are booked most every day. And to hear seven different songs banging out of each room is awesome. I mean, there's so much creative energy in our building. It's, it's pretty exciting. And when you're on the A&R side, you're not really around that stuff.